I didn't have so much doubts uh, because uh, I know this club for a long time ago. Uh, Sudo and Jalgeris are uh, most uh, two the two best clubs in in Lithuania. So uh, I didn't I didn't have so many doubts. It was just a matter of the conditions, and uh, I accepted. In two three days, we sold sold everything. Yeah, it was I know it was a lot of uh, Balkan players, you know, and also Croatian players played here in uh, here in Sudo also in Jalgeris and they so. You know, you meet a lot of uh, a lot of uh, friends during the football and uh, in career. So uh, I heard a lot of nice things about uh, Sudova. So, like I said before, I didn't have doubts when I heard about offer. Uh, I was just uh, waiting for uh, for make the the, the final uh, agreement to come. Yeah, I was uh, I was 15 then. So. Uh, no, it was, I mean, amazing experience, you know, I was there three, three and a half years and uh, it's something special, it's a different world, you know, it's everything is, uh, there is, there, people live for football, you know, so I was there three years and it was a beautiful time, you know, uh, the, the conditions where we trained and uh, everything, facilities, it's uh, amazing, unbelievable. So uh, I played in uh, football club Zagreb and then from there I went there. Uh, I was there three years, and then the, my uh, journey started with the uh, loans and uh, and professional football. Yeah, I was there on my own. We were uh, they call it in England the digs, the families uh, who like accept players, two, three, four players depends. Uh, and we lived close to the training ground. I was with one Serbian guy, so for me it was easier to to you know to adapt because he was also new, and we could speak the same language, you know. So it was easier for me and also for him in the beginning, you know. So we lived three years there because we were young. We couldn't live uh, on our own, you know, in, in London. So uh, we lived in uh, this house with two or three other players. And it was, it was a good time. For example, in your country, uh, you have name and surname, you know. When you go abroad, uh, you are just a number, you know. And then you need to start from zero to make your name and surname there, you know. Uh, my... I can say issue was uh, that Croatia wasn't in Europe Union then, so I couldn't get the, the work permanent to stay. So uh, I could play only three years there and I needed to go, you know. So from then, uh, actually, my professional career started, you know. You know, sometimes <laughs> you, uh, you get in the good team, in the good group, you know. And that's, that's what we had in, in Chefre Cluj that year. Uh, it was an amazing group, amazing uh, guys, like, we had, like 25 uh, like brothers, you know, in the team. And we were all like one big family and also good coach was with us. So uh, it's just the atmosphere was uh, unbelievable. So it was a good season. We started well and uh, we won the cup and uh, it was uh, one season which I'll never forget. It's hard, it's hard to get used to it. Um, like I said before also, in every country you, you come, you need to start from zero, you know. So, uh, yeah, it was hard, you know. So I was a bit unlucky also uh, in a couple of times, uh, most of the time actually. I had, uh, I missed a bit of luck, so uh, yeah, it was hard. It's hard to settle, you know, uh, especially if you come a lot of times. <laughs> I came when the team already was grown, you know. So it's hard to get in the team, uh, to get the minutes, uh, you know, uh, also um, style of football is not the same in Italy, in Spain, here in Lithuania, in Romania, everywhere is the same. Every other, every coach wants uh, different, uh, uh, different, for example, other movements from you in your, uh, your position. So uh, you need some time to settle, you know, and if you stay only for, I don't know, five, six months, you know, half of the season, there is not really time to to show something, you know. To you just get in the rhythm and then you change again. So it's it's tough.